that's something that we've seen many times in crypto already so for me for example that's that's that i wouldn't say that's something that uh, i did not expect of course we all expected that to happen it's just that you need to know i mean you need to stick with your plan always and you, and you need to make sure that your strategy is sharp and solid and if you lack some mm, I would say if you feel like you lack some skills and, and that you're not satisfied with the results that you get from your automated bots, for example, you can see here that I have 12 bots active as of now. And honestly, I would say that they are doing just great for me. I mean, you can see some bots that been active for like three months already. And if you look at Algo, for example, it's been just one month and it I mean, it still makes me around 2% per day. It's like 70 per for this month. I mean, that's that's huge, okay? So even though, of course, this market sell-off affected all of us, you can see it here. We can actually even estimate it. Price change from the highest price to the lowest. I mean, yeah, that, that was around minus 20% intraday. So that's like minus ten thousand dollars but i mean we've seen such cases before even when the market was was rising i mean we saw that here for example you see around 16 percent well it's just you know shit happens if you can say so it's just how you react to this so um that's something we will discuss strategies to react when you see this kind of market sell-off we will also go through some uh, configurations you can have in automated bots. For example, I got some inquiries, like questions uh, as of when it makes sense to have a wider trading range with a limited number of grid levels and when it really makes sense to have um, a trading range with many grid levels so that you achieve the highest frequency trading mode as possible so this is something that we will go through as well and yeah pretty much we're gonna look into what are the current market conditions and what are the configurations you can use to enter the market now and how you can protect yourself in case if the market uh, tries to breach the support line once again and fall down to 42k for example <clears throat> let's see how many of you are now live here on the stream okay great so yeah let's 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 go i would briefly go through all the bots uh, that i have because that's like it's, it's become a tradition I, I would say just to monitor the performance of the bots that Sometimes we open together, sometimes I open on my own just to kind of experiment and, uh, you know, to have some bots for a mid-term and even for the long-term perspective. For example, I'm not going to close my Bitcoin and I think Solana for at least like the next three months. I, I, I don't really think that I'm going to close them. Well, I, unless I come up with maybe with a better configuration that can potentially bring me more returns well we will see so uh i added which was the one that i added quite recently uh yeah so orchid protocol that's the one i recently added that's the coin in which i believe fundamentally and it's just that i decided that I don't want to have a big stake in this coin in my portfolio but instead I'd rather launch the bot the classic bot because in long-term perspective I believe that it's gonna rise it's for those of you who don't know Orchid protocol it's the uh, VPN solution on the crypto space with its unique approach to privacy and decentralization I've been following them since like 2017 or something like that really prominent team but yeah enough of these fundamental things so it's just that i want to show you the example of how you can add coins in your portfolio if you believe in them 
uh, fundamentally like in the long-term perspective so since i don't want to have this big stake in my portfolio i mean just just buying crypto and holding it in my portfolio instead i prefer to enter orchid I mean to add orchid in my portfolio gradually as well as to sell it uh, also proportionately so as you can see I have this wide trading range let's actually look into yeah it's it's around seven sixty five percent okay so that's the space I gave to orchid I mean I would say to to my board to trade orchid okay so i would say that's around 70 percent sometimes you can even have this even wider trading range of around 120 percent it's it's really up to you but for this one i decided to follow this setup um and that way i have around 70 percent of er, um sorry of my oxd tokens initially purchased so out of thousand dollars that's around seven hundred dollars in the base currency you can actually check this here as you click on details you see your balance okay and you can see the balance in the usdt so since i know that the current value is around thousand dollars if i deduct from this value my quote currency well pretty much around seven hundred seven hundred thirty dollars is in oxt okay current uh, market exposure that I have in OXT so that way I know that I'm not by 100% into the market with my thousand dollars it's just that I still have some quote currency just in case if the price falls and I will buy that way more OXT and as the market falls I buy more OXT that way I achieve this thing known as the dollar cost averaging effect okay it's a good thing especially when you expect the market to revert quite quickly after this short sell off and of course this amount of oxt that i have now it will be um, later sold on the market gradually as i have all these sell limit orders and of course as you all guys know um, the the logic of the board is to always buy low and sell high so if it goes higher and then falls back again then it will again fill in buy orders so that later to sell it at the higher price and th th that's that's how you can approach i mean that's how you can uh, diversify if you don't want to have uh, if you don't want to invest let's say thousand uh, dollars into oxt right now at the current market price but instead you'd rather diversify and you'd rather split your investment into multiple orders using automated bots is like one of the best solutions that you can have and also it brings you money uh, every day like so far it's it brought me one dollar i mean it's good you can use you can spend one dollar on uh, on chewing gum i guess so yeah it's it's kind of a profit already buying chewing gum per day i mean it's not uh, healthy but uh, it's kind of you know it's what you can afford with this kind of setup that i have <laughs> as of now um but yeah um that's 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 the one that i recently added and also kuzama yeah that's like the competitor to polkadot uh, cosmos and then furium of course so this is like a layer one solution you can ha you have in crypto space now i personally believe that the competition this kind of pressure there is between the protocols like like the avalanche polkadot ethereum it's it's insane they are all fighting for your traction they are fighting for uh higher tps through outputs and you know this whole thing about the scalability and privacy so they put a lot of uh, effort into this and you can see that coins like avalanche polkadot kuzama i mean solana solana is i mean if you look at solana it's sick i mean don't you think that it's like kind of a stable coin as of now? I mean, it looks like Solana didn't even know about the market sell-off that happened uh, when it happened two days ago. I mean, yes, you can see this on the chart, but almost instantly, like straight away, uh, it pulled back again and now it's trading higher. I mean, that's... I mean, in, in this kind of um, market 
scenarios when you see this sharp sell-off on, on, on Bitcoin and on Ethereum, those prominent coins, you can look at other coins and see how they react to this sell-off. And as you can see, Solana is now trading higher than than before the sell-off. I mean, this tells me a lot about the the market appetite for this coin and that the community behind Solana is really strong. All right. So this kind of, you shouldn't be afraid of this kind of sell-offs. It's just that during the sell-offs, you can really find those coins that are doing more than just great. Okay. They're not just rising together with Bitcoin, but they can react to this kind of sell-offs quite quickly. So that's how you can sometimes approach, uh, re I mean, react to this kind of market sell-offs. But as of money, I mean, how to how to preserve, how to secure your returns, how to secure your deposit. There is no definite uh, solution for that, but rather a set of solutions that you can use. And in my case, I always tell you that the best way for you to really um sleep well at night and at the same time generate returns on on a monthly basis i mean of course there can be some month then you are in loss but most importantly it's just that you you need to have more profitable month than losing month okay that's that's the aim and the way to achieve it is through the strategy diversification you can have in in crypto uh, using beats cap so just to quickly remind you in my case that's always um, automated bots that accounts to around 50% of my entire deposit because I know that you know I mean automated bots they will not just bring me daily returns um, but they will also achieve this dollar cost averaging effect when the market is falling it's gonna just gradually buy the crypto I want to have in my portfolio and that way it kind of averages the market uh, sorry it averages the price at which I entered the market okay so <clears throat> it's just that it achieves this dollar cost averaging effect and once the market reverts and goes higher again you will see even bigger rewards okay so that's the thing about automated bots and also they um, I mean, they actually secure your portfolio. The way it secures it, let me show you how. So, for example, let's check um, maybe this one. So, if you look at this one and trading to USDT, um, the feature that we added is the initial funds value and the current funds value. And you can now compare what would be the outcome if you just possessed that amount of ants on your portfolio and that uh, amount of USDT in your portfolio instead of launching a crypto bot. So the result would be disappointing. It would be minus $18. So if you would stick with 27 and, and 320 USDT, then this would be your result of your passive holding in that case. But thanks to the bot, it not just managed to make $17 as a kind of a passive income. You can consider it as a, well, I would say semi-passive income because still you spend some time to configure the board. You still monitor the board. So it's kind of a semi-passive strategy. Even though the board trades on its own, it's kind of still semi-passive strategy. And this semi-passive strategy brought you, uh, I mean, it kind, of, it kind of saved you from having minus $18. Now you have just minus $8. That's because of the bot profit generated, which upsets the, <clears throat> the whole um, negative value change put on your portfolio because of this market sell-off, okay? So thanks to bots, they can really save you money. <clears throat> and... Yeah, let's check and maybe another example I might have here, maybe Uni, let's see. Well, it's kind of, still you see that bot performance is better, but just by $6, which is still a sign that performance of the bot is better, but kind of 
not a huge gap I would say maybe let's check Solana not this one in oh, actually in case of Solana it would be way better if I if I just hodled this whole amount of Solana but the truth is is that at the time when I launched this bot my aim was just to allocate around $600 and let my bot uh, fix returns on a daily basis even though I strongly believed in the value of Solana back then, it was a month ago, I mean, I already had a huge stake in Solana just in my whole portfolio. So you can see here, Solana, it accounts for a big portion of my current portfolio. And and, and I actually sell it whenever the price goes higher by around 30%, 40% or something. I usually tend to sell around 15% or even 20% okay it's just that don't be greedy okay the market cannot go up all the time it, it, it's just that you need to be how to say okay just just don't be greedy okay you, you still make money it's just that you need to fix like lock into your returns okay because right now if you see for example my Solana if you're in Bitcoin all these returns they are all unrealized okay and only when you sell solana it's then you realize your returns and that's something that you you can say that yes i achieved this kind of level of return on my investment until the moment you sell it it's you're just pending unrealized return so that's why my rule of thumb is to sell around 15 20 percent each time the price goes around like 30 to 40 percent higher okay because eventually you will see this kind of market sell-offs and you can use these proceedings to buy more solana but at lower price okay it's just that you really need to be patient and understand the market environment and that during these market sell-offs it's a great opportunity to even add more on your balance because it's kind of a, a, a how to say black swan is a pretty much a discount uh, day it's just that if you see that in the long-term perspective uh, the whole on-chain and off-chain data, data suggests you that the market is strong I mean there is a huge inflow to cold wallets still and whales are entering the market and you can see whales still holding a big chunk of bitcoins in their wallets it's a it's a it's a green sign for you it's a bullish sign even then you see these kind of sell-offs it's just that these sell-offs they sometimes put pressure on traders that are not experienced and they just get um, scared that the market is gonna fall even further way down but the way for you to protect yourself from <clears throat> this kind of market sell-off is just really to have this full diversification bots allow you to minimize your loss and uh, secure your returns that's something that we learned already from previous webcasts and from your own practical experience and from what I just uh, demonstrated to you you can see this apparent effect of bots really <clears throat> saving you money and uh, genera generating you returns on a daily basis okay so to pretty much summarize I would say uh, look like scroll out as I mean zoom out the chart look if you see that the bullish sentiment still remains and you can use different tools like for example in my case I used fixed range volume profile just to see whether or not support or resistance line um, sustained and I also look into some on-chain data you can have on the glass node for example glass node um, it actually costs quite a lot but you can still get some free charts and from this uh, data you can learn when the market is really scared and that and I mean usually when the market is scared it you, you will notice a huge inflow to exchanges from the cold wallet that is an indication that market players are going to exchanges to sell coins okay and also you will see that the um, 
number of whales i mean big big pocket size wallets diminishes at that time so usually this will be a first indication that yes we are kind of entering a bearish market but as of now we don't see this it's the opposite actually i think i saw this chart quite recently i think it's this one <clears throat> yeah on this chart you can see that pretty much whales they are accumulating and i mean this sell-off it was just an opportunity to buy even more so for those of you who follow the markets i mean the fundamentals and use this kind of on-chain and off-chain data you realize that this market sell-off that happened it's pretty much just a great opportunity for you to once again launch the s bot because we know that the s bot is the best one to accumulate your returns on this kind of market sell-offs and after this kind of sell-offs we expect the market to move a bit sideways okay but i mean it's never guaranteed right it's just that it's just that still shit may happen further and in order to protect yourself from that just make sure that you use the stop loss which is not the case for the most of my bots here because most of them are for mid-term and long-term so that's why I don't I usually don't set stop loss because of the market volatility and you know that when you have a trailing up together with the stop loss your stop loss is going to be moving together with the trading range and I caught myself losing money because uh, my bot exited the market with a stop loss which was uh, trading higher but in reality I would never exit at the price at which it decided to exit just based on the stop loss that, that was trading so that's why uh, on those bots that I have trading up on um, I tend not to use the stop loss as of this strategy that I selected three months ago okay i mean it's just my choice i just want i don't want my board to exit the market at the price at which at which fundamentally and both technically it makes no sense to exit so i'd rather i'd rather control my bots on a daily basis but if you don't want to monitor the market every single day and you have other things to do like i don't know your daily job if for example trading for you is just a lucrative activity then you might have a daily job you have a family you have other things to do okay um i mean whatever camping jogging running lots of things to do else so that's why we have all the tools here uh, on on the automated bots to secure your returns and to minimize the loss and that's why stop loss is a must for those of you who don't want to monitor crypto uh, sorry your bots on a daily basis and you want to sleep well i would highly recommend to you uh, to stick with the stop loss well if you look at at the chart uh, right now that's uni to usdt honestly we can see that there was a kind of impressive uh, withstanding i mean uh, the, the the support line did actually sustain but if there is going to be an, another attempt to breach the support then i would put the stop loss below this level so around this price level okay it's kind of a the logic is simple if it breaks this construction that it already uh, made here um then then the next s s uh, stop would be here for you because if it breaks it and goes lower then most likely it's gonna fall even further way down so maybe if we can we can open the, uh, Bitcoin to USDT. That's why I use this volume profile. It really tells me where is the next possible stop. So right now, according to this, it's over here. Uh, let's make it yellow. No, it's let's make it yeah like this. So that's according to the next highest volume traded at the price of around forty. But I would actually. Uh, adjusted to around 42 because here you can see clearly these peaks highs and lows and yeah i mean maybe around this level i would i would expect if the price falls from the current price level then 
that means that there is still a huge selling pressure on the market <clears throat> where is my brush yeah it's here so if it breaks then most likely it 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 will fall to this area around from which we will hopefully expect it to bounce off again yeah so this is kind of the thing you can trade as of now the stop loss i would put around here if you draw the weight and the and, and you see that the price falls to around 40 42k you can enter the market here and put your stop loss in that case below this support line so <clears throat> that way you give some space for the bot to trade but at the same time you limit your your potential loss in case if the market continues uh, downward pressure but as of now just once again to repeat fundamentally it it doesn't look like the market is kind of entering a bearish momentum it's just it's just that we had this sell-off after this um bull run we had after a free month of a sideways market so of course inevitably you will see uh, traders and look into their returns that that way they they put some selling pressure on the market and that way they can trigger liquidations for those who are over leveraged with their long positions on the futures market okay so that's the thing um there was a question about the configuration you should you can use and basically there are two ways of <clears throat> how you can configure the bot the first thing always start with the trading range okay so let's let's use this tool horizontal line over here and let's put it over here so in that case your range is around 22 percent which in like for the bot it's kind of a <clears throat> small trading range okay so if you if you feel like the market is gonna move for some time within this formation like let's say like this sideways then i would from my experience recommend you to have around uh, 50 greed levels in between because when you have this multiple number of grid levels you see the f the frequency is high enough for the bot to capture even minor price swings on this sideways market because what we know about the sideways market is that the volatility on the sideways market is kind of small i mean it's how, how to say it's not it's it's not like 10 percent intraday okay it's usually like two three percent or something so that way you with this kind of setup you you can see the frequency i mean we even with your eye you don't need to even calculate the uh the grid step between your grids it's just that you already see that there are enough of the grid levels to capture as many minor price swings on this sideways market that you might expect based on the current sell-off and yeah that that would be pretty much my configuration if i would enter the market now but uh the question is whether or not you will make more money with this configuration or instead maybe you could make more money just having let's say 10 grid levels okay so the the trade-off here is that when you have fewer um grid levels of course your grid step is going to be higher and that means that the, the 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 profit generated from one order is going to be way bigger than the profit generated from those setup that we just had with 50 grid levels okay but your risk is that the price will not trigger some of these grid levels okay so you will be left behind the train in in that sense okay so it's all about your expectations if you expect the volatility to be um at its kind of average even below the average level of around three 
to like 4% daily. I mean, even that is actually kind of a lot for, for the Bitcoin. But anyway, if you expect around 3-4% per day, then I would, I would stick with having multiple grid levels within a limited trading range to achieve the highest frequency rate. But if you uh, feel like the market might still swing crazy and it can still fall to even around like 35 then I would suggest to have a wider trading range like up to the the previous maximum we oh did we really have a 64 for Bitcoin really oh yeah that's that's actually that the price we had I forgot about it but yeah well you can set your trading range like the upper limit price up to that point okay because you know it's it's already explored this price range and that's inevitably it will explore it again okay so you, you you can set around in my case i usually set around 25 grid levels i think if even if you check bitcoin i have oh even lower i mean it's 10 just 10 grid levels here yeah and if i click on bitcoin you see the space between grid levels and it's been doing just great like i launched it since this last market fall from 50k and you see how it perfectly handled the volatility and everything it still managed to find this buy low and sell high opportunities and it's still trading i mean and the, the, the trading range is following and it's just doing great um so there is no definite answer whether configuration with 50 grid levels gonna bring you more returns than configuration with 10 grid levels as I have on Bitcoin for example it's really about the volatility if the volatility is insane then it's it for me it really makes sense to stick with like 10 grid levels 20 grid levels if you feel like the volatility is gonna be small and around like three four five even six percent when I would rather stick with the uh, bot having multiple grid levels like the one I have uh, I think in in the synthetics that's the one I have yeah so you see it, it's it's kind of captured many minor price swings you see lots of minor price price swings over here over here that's that's that was actually good setup here but anyway you can always back test so let's say um, let's check basic attention token trading to be used and let's see if um, from this july no july is too long let's check from what is the latest we can check let's see it's the 10th of august okay let's check on the map oh sorry on on, on the chart 10th of august yeah so let's check if this configuration with a thousand dollars and maybe uh, just only 10 grid levels oh okay so for this one it's it's 20 you need to have okay let's even put 2000 mm. why it's not enough what, what's the problem it's, it's a bigger, okay but why is that um, Honestly, I don't remember why it puts me into this kind of restriction, but let's check with a thousand dollars anyway. Twenty grid levels, two percent grid step. I mean, it's actually a small one. Let's let's try. But yeah, it's the minimum of twenty. But maybe let's check on Asmod instead, and let's try with this time ten. Yeah, okay. So that that way it's better. Four percent. Let's check the back test from the tenth of August. It would make me. Uh, 14% you can see exactly how it would have performed if you launched it back then with this trading setup but what if instead I would stick with uh, sorry what was the return once again 14% 1424 and let's check with 50 grid levels uh, okay if not 50 then 30 okay so at least 600 mm hmm yeah it we can still increase because it estimates return not in the dollar profit but in the percentage so it doesn't really matter so yeah it would be uh 
just 12% with this trading setup, okay? So even though you had more grid levels and that means you had more of the trading activity, you had more trades being opened by the bot on the exchange, selling high, buying low, it did actually spend money on like paying fees, okay? So when you have multiple grid levels, expect to pay more in fees because apparently you kind of uh, had more trades but it, it also needs to take into account the volume you spend so sometimes it's it's usually can be the same uh, expenses whenever you had like 15 grid levels or 30 grid levels it's kind of usually if all added up together it would be pretty much the same um, but yeah it's around 12% on the 30 days and apparently by 2% lower than the return that you would generate with just only uh, 10 grid levels okay so it looks like on the rising market um, when you expect this kind of volatility we had on basic attention token I, I, I would say this kind of sell-offs and then bounces back and then establishing new higher high so yeah on this kind of volatility it really makes sense to have fewer grid levels okay but maybe um, I should have actually found this before the uh, webinar to show you some sideways market formations maybe this can be um, let's go and check on Okex no actually on Huobi where I have my Wu token where is that oh it's been actually yeah it's kind of I wouldn't say it was falling but moving more or less yeah not not the best the best one to uh, show you as of now but anyway once again there is like n there is no definite answer to whether or not you should stick with the trading range having fewer grid levels or trading range having as many grid levels as, as you can afford to achieve the highest frequency rate it's really about the volatility once again and in order to monitor the, mo the volatility you just need to look into the past and, and, and see how it's been volatile for the last maybe five months or something in kind of pretty much the same scenarios you can check how it behaved what was the volatility and, and all this kind of thing so that's like the preliminary re research you can do kind of to construct this idea of uh the like the average volatility per this this coin you want to have in your portfolio and based on this volatility you can play with different configurations so i'm really telling you like i'm not even sure that all of these configurations that i now have active is is that they are like the ultimate the best ones for me i'm still exploring better configurations and i always change i mean not always that would be a lie because uh, most of the trades that I have here I should have actually flipped them uh, to a classic bot because when the market <clears throat> breached the uh, upper pr sorry breached the resistance of the sideways formation we had for the last three months it was a clear sign that we need to switch to the classic bot because we know that on the rising market classic bot brings us more money okay because it just accumulates more of the base currency when the price appreciates and that way we increase our exposure and that way we gain more money as the value changes positively so <clears throat> yeah but uh, it would be a lie to say that i kind of react quickly enough most of these trades i haven't flipped just for the sake of some webinars where i had to demonstrate the performance since then and then then and then demonstrate that if i would have switched to zero x bsd strategy from sbot to classic bot then most likely it would be not 175 dollars but it i would say it would be with a classic bot it would be around 230 dollars uh, honestly if, if you check the market performance since the last sideways market so <clears throat> that's the thing i mean nobody knows like what's the ultimate configuration if there was an ultimate configuration i mean we would just post this article on the website 
uh, we would pin it so that whenever you ha you you open website you would see this and we would just say okay use this configuration because it has proven to be the best one it's not like that i mean the market volatility is con on is constantly changing there are new co uh, coins entering the market some prominent projects that we believe that were prominent back in let's say 2018 they are no longer getting that level of traction they used to have two years like three years ago compared with other coins we have like these uh, NFT coins, uh, DAO infrastructure coins, social tokens, if you know what the social token is all about. I mean, there are lots of new niches emerging, like emerging trends. And I would say the market is still immature, but it's kind of getting to that point that it's becoming more efficient. And th there are now fewer arbitrage opportunities on central exchanges which is a good sign and yeah i mean it's it's all about just 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 you know practicing and in order to practice you have this demo mode to play with the virtual money and see if the strategy you selected is a good one and it it really justifies the opportunity cost you spent on having this robot instead of holding money instead so use this tool to come up with your i wouldn't say best strategy because you never know if it's the best or not there might be even better it's it's all, all always about the comparison but the way for you to see whether or not this strategy is good for you is just to compare your results with past month and see if uh, those tweaks you made in, in bots configuration they now uh, resulted in bringing you more returns from the market okay maybe you are you started to use to exploit the take profit function or maybe you also started to protect your trades with a stop loss and that way you secure your returns with the take profit you actually also secure your returns and the way you secure your returns with the take profit is by exiting the market at a certain uh, return on investment level so it's kind of yeah it's something that goes directly to your pocket okay it might be the case that without this take profit a, a huge market sell off could happen and all the money you gained and otherwise you could have uh, secured it with a take profit instead you didn't have the take profit on and on this market sell off you lost more than the half of the profit generated from this trade so yeah i mean play with all these features you have here i mean literally they are all designed to secure and maximize your returns okay and don't uh, look at all my trades as a benchmark i mean i'm i'm also experimenting i'm like i'm i'm a trader like you guys that's not my daily job or whatsoever i'm not calling myself uh, a guru of trading or whatsoever it's just that i have these results and you can and you can check previous webcasts to see the performance and yeah i mean we learn from this market together guys and uh, yeah that's that's what i have as of now and i'm pretty much uh, feeling good it's just that I, I i'm still considering closing four bots and switching instead on the classic bot but i'd rather wait for some time to see how the market is gonna react and recover from this market sell-off if it really recovers quick enough then most likely i will enter the market at this price level around if not then we will see another sell off and then the next support line so maybe at the next support line we'll consider entering the market with the classic bot okay so yeah really depends on the market conditions your expectations okay uh subjectiveness here is inevitable you will always have this kind of biases you, whenever you feel like you are cold minded and unbiased i mean i would say you are kind of lying to yourself you know you, you can never be by 100% uh, sure in the price direction some shit hand can happen i mean before that we had elon musk uh, tweeting some things uh, about crypto and that affected a lot the market sentiment okay and then this resulted in other events causing even a further cascade of the market sell-off so 
these are the things you cannot predict okay so it's 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 a human nature here it's psychology and yeah the, the way for you to really secure yourself is just having this proper diversification uh, and the way I call it, I mean, the way I achieve diversification is just by splitting my funds into automated bots, 50% smart trade mode, around 20% uh, usually, and hodl strategy, around 30%, okay? So I have on my balance some hodl coins. I just hold a bit Ethereum and, and Solana, Quantum, just love Quantum and I'll go is I mean it's great you just do some due diligence and you will learn about this I'm not telling you like that's a kind of a financial advice or whatsoever I'm just showing you my portfolio and that this is my hodl portfolio but it's a not a hundred percent allocation into hodl it's just around 30 percent or something the rest is an automated bots and the rest of the money I use in just smart trading mode in a smart trade mode you can have even more control over your trades because here you are the god you are the one who executes pretty much not the bot so you have this stop uh, order stop limit and then and, and by the way i think in the, in a week we will add a new order and you will be uh very glad to see this new feature I'm, I'm, i can promise you i can guarantee you this you will all like this new feature we are about to add okay so yeah um diversification is is the key okay okay so even though so honestly to be honest with you on on the market on the, on the day when this market sell-off happened my uh, total value was around twenty seven thousand dollars and i think before the 7th of uh, september uh, before like the day before it the value was around uh, 32 or something okay so now it's it's pretty much close to 32 dollars and that's uh, partly thanks to my bots that managed to handle this market sell-off uh, like in case of um, boom, 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 boom. I think that was Kozama doing great yeah you see just just greatly manage this sell off and then uh, uh, bounced off again back so lots of sell orders here executed profit made by the bot which offset the whole value loss on this market sell off and like gradually we we are no actually i wouldn't say gradually it's quite quickly for like the last two days it pretty much almost recovered okay and i even added more of some coins that i wanted to see in my portfolio so yeah okay bots they secure your returns um market timing is everything be patient and diversification is the key make sure you have multiple strategies because one strategy can can offset with its profit generated it can re really offset all the loss you made on other strategies usually hodl is the best strategy because it requires you to have the most of the patience and and the and when you have this patience it it will be rewarded eventually okay so it you can say that your hodl coins they cover uh some losses that you incurred then you've been trading in a smart trade mode okay so that's why yeah diversification is the key let's see your questions is there a roadmap or something we can follow uh, or respect fixes and new features so uh, since Beatscap is not an open source project is what you would expect from some crypto projects but Beatscap is not a crypto project that's that's why you cannot really expect these fixes and new features it's just that we try to update you on that uh, as soon as possible as like as far as we are sure that this kind of feature is coming next week or in two weeks that's something that we announce uh, sometimes on the webcast I you can hear me mentioning some things that are incoming but usually I never mention a, a certain deadline okay so there is gonna be a new feature pretty much soon it can be in a week or even two weeks but uh, pretty soon I would say so 
you can get these updates just by being subscribed on us uh, on on Twitter, um, watching this webcast, sometimes even communicating with the support members we have when you go on the main page you can have it here you see you can always chat but uh, i highly urge you to use this chat just only in cases then you have some problems with trading um do try not to waste uh the, the time of those working in in the support team because they they really want to focus on the things that uh are of the highest urgency like uh, something is not trading uh on your site or like you cannot uh link your api key so i mean this kind of thing so i would rather say do not bother them unless you have something urgent to say okay it's like yeah so um also you can you can have uh your questions answered on on the telegram chat we have uh, we have a kind of uh, kindly community there um but yeah that's kind of how it works mm. are the bots pre-built are the bots pre-built well um if i understand this question correctly then yes it's it's pre-built because uh, we use the technology that been present on the market uh, since a long time like all these DCA grid levels they've been on the market for a long time it's just that we, we add some unique logic into how bots use this grid and DCA order setups and we also test them before uh, releasing them okay so for example if you look here you can see that combo bot is still in the beta mode it means that even though it is kind of 95% functioning we still uh, conduct some tests and making some tweaks just to make sure that once we close this beta mode and we'll announce about the final release of the combo bot like it's no longer in the beta mode then yes most likely you will see some new features added to the combo bot but right now it's kind of a public public test okay so we are by 95 percent sure that everything is okay but sometimes well i never encountered any errors with my combo bot yeah but if you had then it's just because it's still in the better mode um support didn't get back to me in a week after bot malfunctioned and lost me money okay so the first of all you cannot say that bot lost the money because it always m makes you money and even saves you your money on the market fall and that's something we discussed on this webinar because you see the bot profit is always positive it i mean it, it cannot be negative okay and we even added this feature to compare results okay if you would hold it would be 22 if you would stick with the bot it would be bigger 25 so you cannot say that bots they they, they lose your money but as of the response rate, yes, sometimes um, due to the, the flow of requests, it's just impossible for each single member of the support team to reply on, on your questions. Because sometimes questions can be really hard and it really takes time. Sometimes they even approach me or some other team members from like the core team to get a proper answer, okay? That's the focus for us to make sure that we deliver in in depth and meaningful answers instead of uh, you know uh, uh, ch chatting with uh, with all of you because it it would be just impossible. It's all about the urgency rate. <clears throat> um, pam pam pam. I don't to stop training. The watchtower says that the bot malfunctioned and that he or she i don't know has a proof yeah it's it's great that you have a proof because that way you can share this proof and that way we can review it and see what was what was wrong with the bot to fix it okay so that's that's something that i expect you guys always to do like whenever you see like something wrong is going on just uh make a snapshot or I don't know record a video and, and send it okay to us and we will quickly uh, review it 
depending on its urgency okay so i mean for those of you who have been following bids back for quite a long time you know that two months ago you guys wanted us to add uh trailing down feature and now it is on trading down is here okay so that means that we are listening to you okay so i mean speak up share what you feel like is going to be beneficial for the entire beatscap community what are the features that you guys want to see on beatscap okay the more you provide the better okay that's that, that, that that's how it works even though we are not an open source project and we don't have this DAO framework as you have on the Uniswap, for example, then, well, if you guys know Uniswap, then recently they, they announced that they will uh, immigrate to Arbitrum scaling solution. I mean, that was just because of one guy who proposed this uh, idea. It got upvotes and then they, yeah, eventually it got upvoted to the level that the core team really started to integrate and now they are uh migrating to the arbitrum it's 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 not the same uh on beatscap we don't have this kind of dao ecosystem but uh, we have the webcast we have support team and it acts like uh, as a layer like as a communication channel and uh, we always look into your feedback and we always consider what should be added based on your feedback and what is lacking and everything we even had uh, and, and we'll have uh, new test groups before releasing any big features like something we had for the combo bot before the release we had uh, around 50 or 60 people like just regular traders on beatscap and they were uh, they got access to closed testing of the combo bot back then it was in uh, on, on the core server of the beatscap not not even uh, on the public chain so yeah i mean this is something you can always do and also do sorry and right now we don't have any active uh, closed test groups but i previously mentioned that uh, most likely we will have some and you could uh, join them for sure by applying so yeah mm. and they okay so it means that we are not able to yeah that's uh tetiana that's the correct answer about the uh na symbol yeah that's true uh my balance in the board do not match my portfolio actually it's a good advice from C caesar bermudez if i'm um, sorry if i pronounced it incorrect add more money to working bot <laughs> please yeah that's kind of a solution <laughs> so you, that's why i have you see 12 bots and i monitor them and then see if they are doing well for those of bots that were doing great i enabled uh, a trailing down and for some bots, I think I even closed a few bots and then launched them with a, pretty much the same configuration, but with more money added. That's something that I think I did for, I'm, I'm, I might be mistaken, but I think I made it for Algo. Yeah. And it's now in NA zone because it's been trailing up. Actually, Algo is doing just, just great. Look, I mean, it's just been rising. I think it's been rising even more than Solana. That's why 70% per one month. That's that's sick. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's it's been an hour as always for the webcast and um, if you feel like there are some still important questions to be answered then uh, you can always ask them on the next webcast or you can uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I think we will post this video for sure. It will be on the YouTube so you can ask your questions there as well um, yep maybe last time let me check some questions you might have okay so there's a thing it would be nice to just the greed after a bot has started I know that the orders will have to be cancelled but right now we often have to buy or sell more quote currency when recreating the bot yeah I understand so even I sometimes in encounter this problem like for example 
OXT to USDT. Let's say I want to relaunch it with the new configuration. Let's say I want to have now instead of 35 grid levels, I want to have 55. Most likely it will require me to allocate more money because usually the more grid levels you set, the more money is required. So that's the first thing I would need to check. And also, most likely, my balance, which I have now, around 1,800 OXT and 300 USDT. Um, well, I mean, you can still tweak, play with this uh, tool here to kind of have a pretty much close configuration to the one you have now on OXT. But as I use it, you see, it's 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 not exactly uh, 1,800, but it's it's a bit lower okay but still kind of close to this volume okay but yeah now you see um more money is required okay let's say 50 grid levels uh yeah it's it's not it's kind of not the same i i understand it it's because it cannot be the same you cannot achieve the same balance you had on the previous bot because now you had you, you have now a completely different setup and of course it's it's going to be different so as of now i don't really see the point in having this feature to change configuration on your live bot because it's kind of uh how does how to say an extra step you you don't need to do instead just close the bot and launch it with a better configuration you want to have okay but maybe maybe the cool thing to do would be just to maybe copy paste some parameters let's say upper price and lower price so let's say you want to copy paste that to the, your new configuration instead of re, uh, remembering it in your head or writing it down on the paper and then looking into the paper and writing this exact number again maybe the kind of copy paste features can be added that that's that's for sure but not uh, completely uh like altering your grid position on your live bot and adding some like more configurations into your live bot yeah okay so that's pretty much it for today uh i i hope you guys were not shaken off this uh, market after this sell off trade wise uh don't put um more than you cannot afford to lose otherwise you won't be able to sleep well okay always stick with your uh, core fundamental research like if you see and you know that the on-chain and off-chain data suggests that the market should go higher and there are no reasons for the market to enter the bearish trend then don't be afraid of this kind of sell-offs when you had 20% down intraday, okay? It's, this thing is for those, it, it is, it's a scary thing for those traders that are just entering the market, but for those experienced and for those that are using automated bots and all these diversification features we discussed, they are not afraid of these sell-offs. Instead, they are glad to see this kind of sell-offs because it provides you opportunity to buy at a discount. Okay, it's it's a sell-off, it's a discount. Okay, it's a Black Friday, kind of, you know. So it's an opportunity to kind of uh, add more. Okay, and then and then on the on the rising market to gain even more returns of course but don't forget to uh fix your like to lock in your returns i mean you see the market rising 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 well i usually sell around uh, 15 percent each time the market rises by like 30 40 percent but that's for like that's my benchmark for solana or algo coin because they they move like crazy so you need to fix your returns this market rise it's it's an everlasting process it, it's it's inevitably you would see this kind of market sell-offs and market entering the bearish trend so secure your returns and don't be greedy and that's it appreciate uh, have a nice the rest of this week uh, stay safe